Oh my god, now it's gonna play. <laughs> Which sadly means I have to mute it because it, it it is actually copyright. Yeah, copyright. <laughs> yeah. It's on Apple Music, man. <laughs> well, hey, at least, I mean, that's a way to go out, yeah. I want to skip it. I'm not. I'm not going to skip it. I'm going to... Uh, well, Ethan, what would you rate Dead Island 1? But I don't know if it's going to skip it for you. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Surely it can't be that big, right? If this you if say this, that about everything. I, okay, yeah, but this game had so many glitches and fucked up. Like, dude, you were smacking the textures off of zombies at the end. If it's not short, it it With it's gonna be so much weapon. worse. So what? I don't care. You fucking blasted all those scientists away and none of them had a problem. It was like a fucking bowling ball hit the pins. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Who do you voodoo, bitch? Like a bump in the night. Who I will say, voodoo, bitch? quite the banger. Who do you voodoo, bitch? But yeah, what do you what what would you rate this out of ten? Fucking solid seven and a half. I'd say seven and a half co op. If you had to play it alone, a solid four. I played it alone. The first time I played it. That's that's fucking rough. I'm gonna go solid four if you're playing it solo. Probably a seven or seven or eight if you got co op, just because of all the dumb shit that we witnessed between each other and like i don't know that was like part of my favorite parts of the game was like uh oh my god like the cutaway of us um i did like an edit whenever i drove that truck off the cliff where i drove off and then i cut to your view and it's just like fucking massive i don't know just shit like that or like just the truck bullshit in general like the view that it makes you have in the vehicles is also fun Alright, I'm gonna hope that this part isn't copyright. But yeah. Uh, I'd say, like... I don't know. It's actually really funny, you know? Did I tell you about that, that headline article that I saw of about Dead Island 2? No, I don't think so. There's this article, and the, the, the headline was just fucking... Against all odds, Dead Island 2 is a success. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I guess it just did really good sales wise and I was like that's incredible everyone was really like damn this game's gonna suck which you know it's actually super funny I actually heard that on release it 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 was pretty fucking stable what Dead Island yeah like it like it wasn't like they weren't like day one patch needed you know what I mean or Dead Island 2 Dead Island 2 oh yeah I heard that it like wasn't super broken upon release actually, which is like super funny because there was actually just a game that was released uh, not that long ago. What, what fuck? What game was it? I just I just listened to a video about this too, and I, I and that's whenever I was like, oh, that's actually super funny that uh, that shit is running kind of well, just like off the bat. Oh, it's that Jedi Survivor. No. Big, you know, like big, big triple A fucking people yeah. were like waiting on it game. Comes out, buggy as hell, drops frames, fucking broken textures. Fucking Dead Island yeah. 2 gets shit out. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Shit, maybe that's why it's it sold so well. No, yeah, but I mean, Redfall is getting released at fucking 30 FPS, you know what I mean? I mean, Bethesda lets out broken games, but I mean, I guess. That's just Bethesda. I'm trying to think of other games that, um... No, 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 no. It's Bethesda doing... Who, who's Redfall? No, Bethesda didn't do Redfall. I was just saying Bethesda is another company. But, uh, but I think Redfall is from uh, Microsoft Studios. Maybe it's not them directly. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it is Microsoft Studios, but I'm sure it's not them directly. Oh, uh, but yeah, either way... It's I... on Game Pass, so it's somebody they own. Right. I don't know, I'm just saying... 
Oh, um, it's it's uh, it's the guys who did um. Ooh. I know they made uh two other games, and I can't remember what they're called. Cause it was they were like, oh yeah, well they were they were trying to decide doing some other game or this game like the third game in this series, and then they went ahead and just made Redfall instead. But I can't remember what other two games they were. But it's the same team that did it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to look it up now. But either way, I'm just saying it's like the fact that like the fact that Dead Island Two apparently has released in like a solid state and like you know it's got it like looks good it's, published. It, it's developed by arcane published by bethesda uh it's public well still xbox but yeah because of i guess because of uh bethesda uh arcane it was Dishonored. dishonored yeah that's what it was it was they were like they they were sitting there trying to decide if they wanted to do a a Dishonored or Dishonored. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Redfall, it was Deathloop. But I knew that Deathloop team, or the people who made Deathloop made Redfall. But Deathloop got released because they were trying to think of, like, do we want to do a Dishonored 3 or no? And then they were like, what if we did Dishonored, but, like, not Dishonored? And then they did Deathloop, and it was kind of trash. Yeah, because they were trying to, uh, I don't know, they should have they should have made a Dishonored 3 instead, honestly, because Dishonored fucks. It should have been different, Deathloop. Yeah, it sucks because a lot of their games that Arcane makes are really fucking good, you know what I mean? Like, they did that Dark Messiah game, the one where you just, like, run around kicking shit. Right, you... speaking of, like, Deathloop kind of games, there's that... I think it's, like, a... I think it's, like, an indie game. But, like... Oh, the Stanley have... Parable, of course, yeah, I've heard you of that. Have... You have five characters... And you basically play as one each round. And then after that round ends, an AI plays and does the exact same thing you just did. With that character. What the hell? I'm trying to figure out what it is. I don't know. Arcane Studios is pretty like hit or miss, you know what I mean? Cuz like they also did like Wolfenstein Youngblood, which everyone fucking hated. Because it's a co-op focused Wolfenstein game, so if you're playing it solo, it really sucks dick. Um, but they also did Prey, which is like one of my favorite games of all time. You ever played Prey, bro? The 2017 one, not the not the old 360 one. Although I do love the old Prey also. No, not really. The one where, like, the mimics are. Bro, that is the scariest shit that you will ever play. Ethan, you should play that. <laughs> you should try out Prey sometime, man. It's uh, it's the game where the little black alien things, the little squid I know what the balls. game is, yeah. Yeah, that shit is terrifying, dog. I don't, no one can tell me. How, there's no, because there's no way that you can see it. There's no way that you'll know that they're there. They'll just be walking, and it's like, oh, look at that nice chair. Boom, not a chair. You could be standing in an area doing something for a considerable amount of time. You could be like, okay, it's all clear. There's nothing bad in here. Like, I, I looked everywhere. And then, like, five minutes into you doing some shit, boom, the fucking the coffee cup in front of you has actually been a mimic the whole time. And it, it, it fucks me up. It makes you, like, not trust any object that moves. Like, any object that is movable, you, you'll just find yourself start trying to, like, pick shit up off of desk to be like, this isn't one, right? Yeah, I played. Yeah, yeah, I played a bit of play. I didn't get too far into it. It's cool. It's kind of done in like a Bioshock two. But I did watch. Yeah, yeah, I, I watched Markiplier play it. That's what made me play it. It's pretty cool. Played I, like, it, I played it pretty far in, but then I was like, mm, yeah, I can't. I like the idea of like exploring the whole ship like that. Like how it's like, uh, I don't know. It's just it's like it's like open world on that ship, but like also kind of I don't know. Because, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. shit changes as it progresses. Yeah, it's a fun game. Personally, I prefer the old Prey because I just, I like, blasting fools. I'm a, I'm a big sucker for linear FPSs. All right, we're getting near the end, though. It's quality assurance. 
I would honestly, I, th I think that this game probably would be like a stupid, uh, actually, you know, I take that back. I think this game would be fucking stupid to try to play with four people. I cannot imagine the amount of times that me and Ethan got hooked on each other on fucking doors or like accidentally blew some shit up or set each other on fire or like just like glitch some random shit out in the game for the other person. I, playing with four people, I feel like this game would just fucking break down. Like, I feel like two is like the perfect amount. I feel like you get four people in here and it's just, it'd be dumb. I wonder if they scale the zombies by how many people are in as well. I hope not. I hope that they just put more. Quick, quick tip for any zombie game developers. Never give the zombies more life. Just make more zombies appear. That's always the, that's always the answer. Never give zombies more health. Just make more zombies. Phil Lamar, shout out to Sam B for being like one of the fucking best voice actors in this game. Where's the drug dude at, bro? I need to know who the fuck did him. That dude in the town, or not the drug dude, the other guy. I need to know who the guy in the town was who talked like this. He killed my family. I said, what the fuck? Damn, they had a Spanish, German, and Italian version, and they were all done by, like, four people for- What the hell? They only had two translators, so one of those translators sp- Oh, well, I mean, I guess one of the project leaders over there could have done it. Oh, never mind. They're still going through more translators and stuff. Jesus, the Polish one had a lot of them. Oh, my God. Now they're doing the Techland- Is Techland, whoa, is that out of Russia or something? Oh, must. Someone's name is Jacob, spelled J-A-K-U-B. Must be. Oh, graphic designer's last name is Polinsky. Shout out to the HR manager. Shout out to the IT manager. Fuck the IT administration, though. I don't know why, I just feel like that, that person sounds like an asshole. Um, the animators, Daniel Lang, Roger Rosa, and Dimitri Joseph, you guys fucking suck at facial animations. Can I just be real with y'all? I don't know whose face just, like, you guys put those little dots on them, but, like, you didn't put enough dots. Every face in this game looks like they just got Botox and, like, they can't feel their face anymore. I'm just saying. And shout out to Christopher H. Knight for writing Who Do You Voodoo? The fucking, a banger of our time. I don't know, man. It, it's hard to tell because I don't, uh, I don't know if our like, oh, shout out to the fucking, to them not making a whole special thanks section and just saying our, our heartfelt thanks go out to our spouses, family, and friends. And that's all that they said. Thank God. Oh my god, I don't care about Deep Sil- I don't care about the publishers. Oh no, it's starting again. Is that- is that Who Do You Voodoo starting again? Is that what the clicking is? I don't think so. Okay. I don't care about the producers. All they did was give someone some fucking money, dude. No, nah, okay, that's not always true, but like a lot of the time it's true. Or is this the publishers? I might have misread it. Dyslexia is a motherfucker. I don't know if I have nostalgia goggles on for this game or not though, man. Cause I, yeah, I will say Ethan was 100% spot on when he was like, yeah, this is the best part of the game. This is the best, this is the best map in the game. Like that very first like beachside one and he was correct. 
I didn't mind the prison that much, but like all the other levels, they kind of lose the whole vibe, yeah? Yeah, they kind of suck. <laughs> they kind of suck. I mean, like, the city is... I think the city is the worst one. I'm going to be honest. Uh, the jungle was kind of fun, but that's just because I think it was so contained. The city just sucks. It just sucks to get anywhere. It sucks trying to get it. The fucking... The dots don't know where the fuck... Even the dots are confused by the city. If the dots are confused by how to take you from point A to B, how the fuck am I supposed to figure it out? The answer, I'm not. I'm not going to figure that shit out. I have no idea. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> that was it. <laughs>